In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons to moving to Salt Lake City versus St. George, Utah. Let's jump in. So if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to make a move here to Utah, or at least you're considering it. And you might be asking yourself, you know, should I move to Salt Lake City? What are the pros and cons of living there? Or should I move down to St. George, which might be a better fit for my lifestyle? Here in this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons to each different area and what you need to know about moving there and what you should look out for if you're looking to make a move here into the state. Now, my name is Cody Steck, your favorite Utah realtor. I've helped people from all across the world make a move here to Utah and I would love to help you as well. I've teamed up with some of the best people in the industry and we're making moves for new families and individuals every single day. Literally people from all across the world have reached out to me and I would love to hear from you as well. My contact information will be here on the screen and in the description box below. Call, text, or email anytime. I'd love to hear from you. And I want to have a chat about the type of home and lifestyle that you're looking for when you do make that move here to Utah. So without further ado, let's jump into this list here. So to demonstrate exactly what we're talking about, I'm going to give some positives and basically explain how that compares to the alternative, right? So if I give you a positive about Salt Lake, that means that generally speaking, it's going to be better than St. George and vice versa. If I give you a positive for St. George, it generally means it's going to be a little bit better, at least for most people, uh, compared to Salt Lake City. Now, this is just based on my opinion and, uh, you know, having lived here, I'm going to give you some information that I think is relevant. But of course, I may say something that's a positive and you might think it's a negative. So just take that with a grain of salt. All right, now the first thing I have to mention for Salt Lake City, the first thing that came to mind is that there's gonna be better job opportunities in Salt Lake. You're gonna have a much bigger population and it's just an older part of the state overall. So you've seen a lot of growth there. There's been a lot of tech companies moving into the area and healthcare jobs as well. And with those types of jobs comes all of the ancillary needs for different types of professionals, right? If you've got a lot of tech workers in the area, well, all those tech workers are gonna to have to go to the dentist, right? So you've got a higher number of dentists in the area and all those people are gonna need attorneys and they're gonna need uh, uh, doctors, you know, right? So when you've got all of those great job opportunities there in the area, when you're dealing with a larger population of people, you're naturally going to have more job opportunities. Let's say that you're a dentist. Well, maybe you don't like living in one area. You can easily transition uh, to a different city and still find success there. In St. George, that might not be the case. And the thing is, this is across the board, whether you're looking at white collar jobs or blue collar jobs, it doesn't really matter. There's just going to be better opportunities overall in Salt Lake City. Now, the second thing on our list here for Salt Lake is you're gonna have a true four season year uh, in Salt Lake City. You're gonna get a full summer, you're gonna get spring and fall, which the weather is basically the same, and then you're gonna winter where it's cold and snowy, right? So in St. George, you don't really get that. Yeah, that might be a pro or a con, depending on what you're looking for. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But if you really want those four seasons, then Salt Lake is going to be the option for you. This means that you're gonna get snow in the winter and it's not gonna be quite as hot in the summer. The nice thing that I like about Salt Lake is that during the winter, it's kind of right there in that like mid 20s, mid 30s uh, weather range in the uh, winter. And so that's kind of manageable. You know, it's not too bad to be outside. Sometimes it's cold. You're just like, I'm not going outside. Uh, but you know, it's pretty manageable. And then in the summer, you know, an average day is like high 90s for the heat. And so, you know, that's also pretty manageable. If we look at St. George, you know, yeah, the winters are milder, which might be a positive for you, but the summers are extremely hot. And that kind of moves us right onto number three here on my list, which is that you can go skiing at 10 different major world-class skiing resorts within an hour drive of downtown Salt Lake. I mean, yes, you can go skiing at Brian Head Resort, but it's about an hour and a half drive compared to Salt Lake City, where you've got 10 world-class ski resorts within just one hour drive of Salt Lake City. So if you want a variety of skiing options, snowboarding options, uh, ice climbing, snowshoes, anything like that, you're definitely gonna want to look at Salt Lake City as a better um, option for you just because you get so much more snow in the northern part of Utah. Moving on to number four here on our list is that Salt Lake City is just naturally a bigger city, right? Salt Lake County has a population of over 1 million people right now, so they've got a lot of the amenities built out that come along with that. They've got an actual downtown area with the skyscrapers and everything like that, and they do have an international airport as well right next to downtown. So if you want kind of more of that city life, you want uh, those amenities of just having nicer stuff or just having more access to the city or to airports if you like to travel, then that might be something that's worth considering. Now, I should say that, you know, with St. George, you do have the regional airport there and it's pretty easy to get a flight to Las Vegas or to Phoenix or to Salt Lake and then fly out from there. So it does add a little bit of travel time, but it's really not that big of a deal unless you're traveling like on a weekly basis. 
And I'm gonna move on to one more positive thing here for Salt Lake City, and then we'll talk about St. George. The fifth thing I wanna mention is that with that bigger city life, you do get access to higher end stuff. So if you want nice restaurants to go to, if you're shopping at the Ferrari dealership or the Rolex store, you're gonna get that in Salt Lake. Unfortunately, uh, you know, Washington County in Southern Utah just doesn't have that, right? It's just not big enough. There's not the population to support it. So if you want that higher end stuff, if you're used to that and that's important to you, then that might be something that's worth considering making a move to Salt Lake versus St. George. All right, guys, now as we jump into the pros to St. George, we're gonna talk about some really good things here. If you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and don't forget to share this video with a friend or a family member who's also looking at moving to Utah and considering, hey, should I move to Salt Lake? Should I move to St. George? If you're finding value in this video, they also will find value with it. So with that said, let's jump into number one. Obviously, the first positive I have to mention to St. George is that there's no snow, at least very little snow, and the winters are very mild. In fact, looking at the snow fall history for St. George. I mean, on an average year, they might get one to two inches of snowfall and then it melts off the next day. So it's not really something you have to worry about. You're not going to be getting snow. You're not going to need snow tires. You're not going to need a snow blower or a snow shovel or anything like that. It's really going to be an area that you don't have to worry about it. And uh, if that's what you're looking for, then, you know, St. George is going to be the place for you. That being said, the temperatures in St. George will also be pretty mild throughout the winter as well. For the average low overnight, you're probably in like the mid to low 30s. And then during the day, it's gonna warm up to mid 40s, maybe even low 50s on a really warm day. Sometimes it even hits 60s like in late January. So this is something you can get uh, in St. George if you want those milder winters. If you don't want snow, then St. George is probably the place for you. And as we move on to number two here, you're probably gonna notice a theme. A lot of the positives to St. George that I'm mentioning here on this list are gonna be the opposites of what Salt Lake City is. So the second thing I'm mentioning here is that it is a smaller town or city overall. The population for Washington County is still very low. It's under 200,000 people as of the time of this recording with the latest data I've got. And that's still really small, right? Salt Lake County alone is over 1 million people. The whole Wasatch Front is about 2 million people. And uh, Washington County, you're at under 200,000. So if you compare the metro areas to each other, it's almost one tenth the size. And if that's what you're looking for, then, you know, St. George could be a really good option just because it is a smaller city. It's a little bit slower pace of life. And, uh, you know, there's something to be said for that. Talking about number three here on our list is that you also get year round access to the outdoors and to let's say golfing, right? A lot of people wanna to go to St. George for the golfing or just the outdoor recreation. And the great thing about this is you can literally do it year round, right? Going out and golfing in 40 to 50 degree weather, yeah, it's a little cold, but like it's possible, right? Going on a hike, definitely possible. You know, the thing is, it's really kind of flipped. In Salt Lake, you're gonna do most of those things during the summer, but in St. George, you're gonna be doing most of those things basically from like, let's say September through probably early June. After that, you know, July and August, even the middle of June, it's gonna to be too hot during the day, so you're not really gonna to wanna to go out and do that stuff unless you're doing it super early in the morning when the weather is still pretty manageable as far as temperature. So uh, if you're looking for, you know, year-round access to the outdoors, if you don't care about the snow, that's not your thing. If you're looking for road biking or hiking or canyoneering or you wanna to go to the national parks or whatever, you wanna go golfing, swimming, uh, you can do all those things on a much more frequent basis living in St. George. Now, the fourth thing we're gonna talk about here is that the air quality in St. George is going to be significantly better than in Salt Lake. Unfortunately, Salt Lake ranks as the seventh worst in the nation for large metro areas. So Salt Lake does pretty, have pretty bad air quality. Of course, it's an item of concern. If you've got sensitivities to that, then that's something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. In fact, I've even got my own brother who made the move from Salt Lake City to St. George because of this reason. He's got some lung issues. Unfortunately, the air quality in Salt Lake City was bad enough that he had to make that move to St. George in order to get out of it. So the air quality is going to be better if you're sensitive to that or if you just really value that on your list of items, then that's something you're gonna to wanna to know is that the air quality will be better in St. George. And in Salt Lake, you know, they are trying to make a difference here. Unfortunately, it's just because of how the inversion works and how you get the bad air quality in the first place uh, that makes Salt Lake such a bad place, but uh, the, you know, they are working on it. They're trying to make it better. I've noticed that it's gotten better in recent years. So that's something that you probably want to keep in mind is that, yeah, Salt Lake is, uh, you know, does rank seventh worst as far as some of the latest data, but um, at least it's not the worst in the country. I mean, there could be worse options, right? I don't know. I don't know how to put that positively, but I guess the point is St. George is going to have better air quality than Salt Lake overall. 
Now, as we talk about number five here, I'm also going to give you some pros to both areas here in just a little bit. And you might compare that to your current situation, right? If you're living in California, if you're living in the Northeast, wherever you're living, I'm gonna give you some pros to just Utah in general, and you can kind of compare that to what you have now. So number five on our list to wrap up St. George is that the cost of living is slightly lower than what you'll find in Salt Lake City. The cost of a house is lower, the cost of rent is lower, and the overall cost of just your everyday stuff, right? Like utilities, transportation, groceries, all that stuff's gonna be slightly lower than what you find in Salt Lake. Now let's talk about some of the positives to just Utah in general, right? Number one on our list is that it's easy to access the outdoors. No matter what you're trying to do, whether you live in Northern Utah, Southern Utah, you can get outdoors and do just about everything you wanna do any outdoor recreation activity within about one hour drive, right? If you wanna go hiking, you wanna go skiing, you wanna go mountain biking, you wanna go climbing, you wanna go shooting, you wanna go golfing, whatever you wanna do, you can do it within about an hour's drive of anywhere in Utah. And that's one of the things that people love about living here is the access to outdoors is unmatched compared to a lot of other areas. The second item on our list is that you've got relatively low taxes. Utah has just under a 5% tax rate. It's actually, I think, 4.95% for state income tax. So it's relatively low. Yeah, we're not a no income tax like uh, Nevada or Texas or Washington, but we do have the benefit of having low taxes. 5% is pretty reasonable, especially compared to other areas. And we also do have low property taxes. So that's something that I see a lot. People coming from like Ohio or California, they say, wow, your property taxes are so low here. And uh, you know, that's what helps keep uh, the housing a little bit more affordable, at least for those people, right? If you're already living here, you might be like, oh, housing's way expensive. But, uh, you know, we do generally have lower taxes, which helps offset some of that. The third thing that's awesome about living here in Utah is that it's very community focused. People are nice here in Utah. People love living here and they wanna to talk to you and they wanna kind of be your neighbor, right? Now, for I think most people coming from out of state, that's gonna be a little bit weird for you, but it's just the way that we do things here in Utah. People are kind of nice and they're you know generally really great people. So that's something to kind of keep in mind as you make your move here is that you're gonna uh, experience that. You're gonna see that Utahns place a lot of value on that type of thing and it's gonna be a great place for families, individuals, and kids. And the last thing that came up on my list here is that it's easy to get to national parks no matter where you live. We talked about this on some of the other videos, but it's extremely easy to get to national parks from St. George. For most of them, it's only a couple hours drive. For Salt Lake, it's gonna be just a hair longer, but literally you can get to any of these national parks in about a half, half day drive or less. So if you wanna get out there, you wanna experience nature, you wanna to get to these amazing national park sites, then it's very easy to do so no matter where you're living in Utah. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope Hope you enjoyed it share it with a friend or a family member who might also be interested in this and don't forget to reach out to me if you're making a move here to utah get in touch with me whether it's st george or it is salt lake reach out to me i'd love to help you make that move and transition my information will be here on the screen call text or email anytime i cannot wait to hear from you and with that said we'll catch you in the next one